to give um, an example of a Pluto trend, a full Pluto cycle from 1995 to 2008, Pluto was in Sagittarius and that was Sagittarius rules publishing. Mm. So at the t- when it first entered, it came in like a wrecking ball on the publishing industry. It was like, I was in my 20s at wow. that early 20s at that time. And it was like, I loved a bookstore. It was like, everything was magazines, books, Barnes and Noble, you know, it was like bookstore culture. And then along came the internet and uh, completely kind of obliterated for a minute mm-hmm. or turned upside down, pub, you know, print publishing as we knew it. And so the internet came also, when Pluto was yeah. in Capricorn or uh, Sagittarius. So, oh, Sagittarius. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's the yeah. transformation. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. It was 1995 um, to 2008. Oh, so I see. everything was print. And then the web started, mm-hmm. you know, really, I remember my friends starting to get their first dot com jobs in like 1996, 97. And that was like the first web one kind of time. Oh my gosh. So um, can you say, oh, I just had a realization is web one Sagittarius when Pluto was in Sagittarius, web two could be when Pluto was in Capricorn. Cause you said 2000. Yeah, I think it right? is. It was, yeah, exactly. Pluto was in Capricorn during social media when Facebook started and all of that. And then yeah. now we're entering web three almost. And that is Pluto in Aquarius. That was Ooh. good. Absolutely. Ooh, <laughs> I guess we yeah. for some reason. Uh. Yeah, and me too, <laughs> because I love when the planet, this is exactly the macro, this is the beauty yeah. of astrology, like how I wish more people, uh, well, it's, it's up to us, I guess, people like us who live in both worlds mm-hmm. kind of to explain it. Right. Because a lot of people are either too astro geeky, and I'm trying my best not to be, or they're <laughs> don't know, you know, they don't know how to translate it. I think you do an excellent job of that. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, web two is very Capricorn because it was when the big businesses and ads and sponsorships and companies, which is Capricorn started to kind of, you know, it became not so free, you know, and interesting. Yeah. People always talk about how web one in the nineties, early two thousands were more fun and open and, and then, and it becomes, it it became very big tech and corporations just became a thing. Exactly. It's when, you know, the, the venture capitalists started to fund it. You know, I mean, my first website I built in 1996 by hand, like, Ooh, this is cool. It was like a (laughs) star Wars astrology website. (laughs) Um, and I was like, wow. Cause I was, I was actually public. I was a magazine publisher at that time. And I was like, Oh my God, ink and paper are so expensive. Like, wow, I can actually publish. Yeah. So it was super exciting. Um, for indie publishers, the Pluto and Sagittarius time. So it it, tra- it left us with tablets, with the internet, with digital publishing, with, you know, Skype and being able to like, you know, I remember being like, wow, I had a boyfriend who lived 5,000 miles away in 2001. That was, was a little too soon. Uh, <laughs> and so like, I don't even, we couldn't even video shit. What was I thinking? Talk about like (laughs) giving yourself an uphill battle, you know, (laughs) swimming upstream. Uh, There was no WhatsApp. There was nothing. So it's just like, I don't know. What did we do? I think we emailed each other and then met in Paris, like Carrie Bradshaw and (laughs) Mr. B broke up afterwards. That sounds romantic though. (laughs) It's like, it was, right? Oh, okay. It was romantic, but oh, what it took to get there. Jeez. I so, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a Pluto trend. Um, but when it entered, you know, real quick, like when it entered Capricorn in 2008 into early 2009, bit the first Bitcoin blockchain <gasps> was mined January 3rd, 2009. Mm-hmm. Um but uh, we had our, the first African American president. There's Pluto shaking up government mm, as we know it, I you see. know. And so, yeah, so that's what we've been dealing with. And we had an orange president halfway through. <laughs> and now, now in 2024, who knows what we're getting? Maybe an alien. I, know. I don't know. Who knows? 